Just Kevin Phelps. Well, grab the jacket and layer up. Uh, we have wind chills down in the teens here this morning, but all of our area roads appear to be in good shape. Hey, there's a lot of traffic on the I-74 bridge for a holiday morning. Maybe some of you heading out early to uh, get warmed up and stretched out for the turkey trot. That starts about an hour and 15 minutes from now. We have Skyview pointed towards the east. We are socked in with clouds, and these clouds are going to be very tough to get rid of. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of sunshine today, which means... We're going to be trending even cooler than what was originally expected. In fact, temperatures are in the mid to upper 20s right now. You're probably going to warm up a couple degrees uh, from where you're at right now. So there's not a big warm up here for our Thursday. And we still have these pesky northwest winds coming in at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So that is producing our wind chills right now of 18 in Clinton. You feel like 16 in Galesburg, 17 for Burlington. So yes, uh, hats and gloves certainly warranted here this morning. Uh, as you take a peek at clouds and radar, well, it's not necessarily picking up on this cloud deck that we have across the area right now. It is showing some scattered flurries there in north central Iowa. These will have the potential to move into our area a little later this morning. That being said, we're so dry at the surface, a lot of it evaporates before it even has a chance to reach the ground. So I think we're just mainly cloudy here for your Thanksgiving. Widespread highs, upper 20s and low 30s. You're not going to feel much warmer than about 24 or 25 at any point today because of those northwest winds. Then our skies clear tonight or at least begin to break up. This should allow things to cool down into the teens for overnight lows. And by tomorrow afternoon, an abundant amount of sunshine, unfortunately, you just don't warm up. We're talking highs only in the mid 20s, nearly 20 degrees below normal. That means if you're heading out to Iowa City as the Cornhuskers are in town, a cold one. So not bad for tailgating mid 20s with sunshine. But by the time the game kicks off, we're going to be in the teens and 20s throughout. Thankfully, those winds will be relaxing here throughout the game. So the wind chill actually improves as you get maybe into the second half of that game. Now turn the page to Saturday. Even colder start here in the morning. You're down to 12 in Galena, 14 in Davenport, 16 in Galesburg, and you're only on the road to the mid and upper 20s for a second consecutive day. So while we're not going to be picking up on any rain or snow, it's just going to be downright cold here heading into your weekend. Hey, speaking of another football game, big one here, Kansas State uh, playing Iowa State, uh, hopefully to uh, secure a spot in the Big 12 title game there for the Cyclones. Another cold one, low 20s there by kick. Another night one over on Fox. At halftime, those winds will begin to calm down, but temperatures in the teens, you, you will need to bundle up here if you're heading out to Iowa City or Ames here, whether it's on tomorrow afternoon or on Saturday. Check this out. We're only in the 20s and 30s here as you head into Sunday and Monday. As you get into next week, though, we finally start seeing some moderating temperatures with most of us getting back to the 40s by next Wednesday. Well, looking ahead to your sports, a local boy will be heading to Kinnick Stadium.